We're going to be doing a reminder of factors and multiples, highest common factor and lowest common factor today. These are things you've done before, so we're going to go through them quickly. I'm going to straight away chuck a question at you, which is to find all the factors of 54. Now remember, factors are whole numbers that divide exactly into 54 and don't leave any remainder. So what, you're going to, what I want you to do is to find all the factors of 54. All the things that divide into 54 and don't leave a remainder. Make sure and think about it so that you do it systematically so you pick up every single one of the factors. All right, pause the video now, do it, and we'll go over it. All right, so hopefully to do this, you did think about the system, a systematic way of doing it. My systematic way is to start at one, to work up, and to make sure that I put every factor with its partner. So I start at one. Does one go into 54 without a remainder? Of course it does. So one is a factor. And what's its partner? Its partner is 54 because 1 times 54 is 54. Okay, next I go to 2. Does 2 go into 54? Yes, it does. And what's its partner? It's 27, because 2 times 27 gives me 54. All right, does 3 go into 54? Yes, it does. And if you needed a little bit of help here, 3 into 54, 3 goes into 5 once, remainder 2, 3 into 24, 8 times. So there it is, 3 with its partner, 18. Does 4 go into 54? No, it doesn't, right? If I try that out, 4 won't go into 54. It'll leave a remainder. 5, I can know immediately it doesn't go in because um, anything that 5 goes into either ends in a 5 or a 0. Does 6 go into 54? Well, I should know my times tables well enough to know 6 definitely does, and it's got a partner of 9. Does 7 go into 54? No, it doesn't. Does 8 go into 54? No, it doesn't. Does 9 go into 54? Oh, yes, it does. Uh, but we've already got it here in a partner. So now we know we've got all the factors of 54. We can stop. So it's 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54 are all the factors of 54. So to find all the factors, you won't go wrong if you start at 1, you check each number systematically, you always write down the partner factor alongside it, and you only stop when you start to end up in a position like this one, where you're repeating yourself. Okay, before I chat the next question at you, let me remind you what a multiple is. If we're looking for the multiples of three, we're looking for anything that's in the multiplication table is right of three. So like three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, etc. The multiples of 12 will be anything that's in the 12 times table, right? So it's 12, 12 times two is uh, 24, uh, 12 times three is 36, etc., etc. All right, so I want you now quickly to try to find the lowest common multiple of 12 and 15. So lowest common multiple means it has to be a multiple of 12. It has to be a multiple of 15 because you want it to be common, right? Something that they have in common. So it must be a multiple of both of them. And I want the lowest one. Pause the video, quickly try now, and we'll come back and look at it together. Okay, so what we do is we write out a few multiples of 12. So we start with 12, and then we say 24, and then we say 36, and then we say 48, and then we say 60, and then we say 70. And let's hope that that's enough. They do go on and on, so let's hope that's enough. What about the multiples of 15? Well, 15 times 1 is 15, times 2 is 30, times 3 is 45, times uh, 4 is 60, and there we go. I have found a common multiple, because there's 60 in this list and 60 in that list, and it is the lowest multiple, because none of the smaller multiples are the same. So that's how we do it. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to throw at you is to find the highest common factor of 24 and 30. So, highest common factor, again, we're looking for the factors, 
Uh, so we know when we're looking for the factors, right? You, we've just done that. So what you can do is find me all the factors of 24, find me all the factors of 30. Because what we want is one that's in common, so one that both of them have, and we want the highest one that's in both of them. All right, pause the video now, do that, and we'll quickly go over it. All right, so you should have gone and got the factors. So it'll be 1 and its partner factor 24, 2 with its partner 12, uh, 3 is also, and it has a partner of 8, 4 is also, and it has a partner of 6, 5 isn't, and then 6 is, but we've already got that, so we can stop. Okay, what about 30? 1 with 30, 2 with 15, 3 with 10, 4 doesn't go, 5 does, 6, 6 does, but we've already got that, so we're back at the beginning. All right, which is the highest number that they have in common? It's not 24 or 30, 12, 15, 8 or 10, but we do see that both of them have got 6 in the list. And so this is the highest common factor. 3, for example, is a common factor, right? It's a factor in 24 and it's a factor in 30. But it isn't the highest one because, in fact, there's still another number, 6, which goes into both of them.